Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook fishing! Hi, I'm here with Danny, and today Danny is going to take me fishing! Hello, Hi, Daniel. Daniel. Nice to meet you. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. What kind of lures are we going to be using today? Today we're going, we're not going to be actually using lures, we're going to be using flies. What's the difference between a lure and a fly? Because I know what a lure is. Actually the difference between a fly and a lure is your lure is an attractor, but the fly is, is made out of artificial materials and we're going to make one of those with you today. Is that water coming from the stream over there? The stream runs right through our facility here. Then it goes out to the ocean. Are there fish in there, Daniel? Yes, there are, Daniel. There's some Atlantic salmon in there. Can I go take a look? You certainly may. Hey, Danny, can we go get out and grab our rods and go fishing now? Sounds like a good idea. We're going to tie a fly called the woolly worm. The woolly worm? Yeah, and it's a pretty easy fly to tie. If I were to create a fly, I would probably call it the hunter or the cat because cats eat fish. Yes. The first thing that we're going to do when we tie our fly, this is called a vise. Uh -huh. And we're going to take the hook and we're going to put it in this way and we're going to pinch that barb down. This is Daniel Cook tying a fly. How do we you. do that? We're just going to take the barb, we're going to put it in there, and we're going to squeeze this open and turn it, and then we're going to close it up so it pinches that barb down. And then we have a tool called a bobbin. And that's, bobbin? This, that's this thing. It has a roll of thread on it. Well, what do I do with it? Put your thread over the hook like, like I have mine, and just go around. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take this pretty piece of red thread and we're Ooh, going to set it pretty. right there. I'll hold it for you if you want to take the bobbin around it. And then we're going to lay this on here and we're going to lock it in the same way we did the piece of thread. We're going to put what they call a hackle in and it's a big long feather. This one's off of a rooster. So your next job is to take this piece of what we call chenille and you're going to wind it on. We're going to take this back out of the way. And you're going to wind that on and you're going to make a body all the way up the fly. It looks more like a dragonfly. You know what I like about this? Nothing gets hurt in this type of That's fish. right. So now we need to get our fishing rods and then we I'll need go to get go the fishing. Rods. Practice before we start, start fishing because I brought a little practice line. Yes, we will. This is Daniel Cook practicing his cast. It was just like that, see? That's how I cast. Yeah. You have to wait until it loads behind you. When it straightens out, you'll feel it. You want to try? Okay. Wait. Cast. Wait. Cast. Am I getting the hang of it? You sure are. Great! Do you think I'm ready to try the real rods? I think so. You should always go fishing with an adult just in case something yeah. happens when you're near the water. Good point. Let's move out to this rock right here. Oh, I think I got something. Already? Nope. Guess not. Yeah, little fishy fishies. Sometimes when you're fishing, you don't even catch fish. That's part of the experience, isn't it, Daniel? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to look underwater, Danny. All right, well, I'll stand close, just in case. Key to fishing, Danny, is patience. Yeah, I believe that, Daniel. I wonder if I have anything. Oh, I think I got something. I think I got something. Good stuff. 
Just yeah. don't reel too fast. Now I'm going to go out and release yeah. it for you properly, Whoa. okay? Whoa. What kind of fish is it? It's a landlocked salmon, a young one. So we're going to release it to let it go. Can I look at it first? Sure, but we'll have to keep it in the water, okay? Yeah. Now, isn't that a nice fish, Daniel? And he's going to be a lot bigger. You want... Can I release him? Sure you can. Just don't squeeze him too hard. Put him into the water gently. There you go. Now, isn't that a nice feeling when it swims out of your hand? Yeah. That's what it's all about, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Talk to Congratulations. Me. Thank you so much, Danny, for taking me fishing. I had so much fun. Thank you, Daniel. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.